Hello everybody, it's Mary with Samson Lingers and it is Saturday night at 7 p.m. Eastern, which means it's time for a YouTube tutorial. No, this isn't YouTube, this is Facebook. Oh, it's gonna be a good start, I can already tell. All right, let me go ahead and get uh, rebooted over here on the left just to be sure that I am actually transmittalating. It looks like some folks are coming on. Yay, hello. All righty, so this is the card that is a sneak peek from this morning and to say that it is not traditional Christmas colors is an understatement. Hey, Rosie. Hi, Amy. Hi, Debbie. Appreciate you joining. Um, but there was a color challenge this week, and I decided to try to play with it and to make it into Christmas. So there you go. Hi, Janie. Hi, Karen. Hi, Lenny. Appreciate you guys coming. Mary Lee. Pretty. Pretty name. Hello from Oregon, Mary Lee. Hello, Alicia. Hello, Faith and Glenda. All right. Hey, Barbara. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um... This uses a couple of things that are kind of fun. Two of them are what are going to be two of my favorite sets uh, in the new catalog and maybe for, you know, the foreseeable future. Hey, Carol. Hi, Lisa and Holly. Appreciate y'all joining. This is, these are two sets that everyone says to me, Mary, I, I think they put the wrong dies with the wrong set. I, I think everybody thinks it should be bundled like this. But in fact, they're bundled like this, very much like the Poppy Moments um, stamps were back a, a, a set or two ago, a catalog or two ago. So they are meant to work in concert, which is why they are all in the uh, suite together. So you've got Christmas season with the all images and all of the dies that cut out the various pieces and parts and have all of the sentiment label dies that work with the Christmas to Remember. Christmas to Remember is the one that is bundled with the gorgeous Christmas Pinecone set, which is what we're going to use. Well, we're going to use all of it today, okay? And I'm also using the very sparkly, one could even say bedazzled, uh, bedazzling, six by six paper and this is one of the things that you'll be able to pick for free when celebration starts when you place a fifty dollar or better order before shipping and tax all right so this is very shiny what i will tell you about it is it doesn't shed its glitter what i will also tell you about it is it's thick and the the sequins on it the little glitter pieces are big so with these dies which are intricate to begin with it's gonna take you a minute to cut this out, okay? So just be prepared for it to take a minute. It's not gonna run back and forth once and be and be cut, okay? Just, just saying. Especially if you do, like I do, where you pick the detailed die to cut the bedazzled, um, bedazzling paper with, okay? But that's exactly what I did. And you'll be glad to know I've already done it so you don't have to watch me deal with it. All of these card cuts will be on tomorrow's blog. Now my color palette, I really kind of like it. It's Polished Pink, Mint Macaron, Knight of Navy, and Bermuda Bay. And if anybody had told me, in fact, I was putting this together on the Zoom, the craft room the other night on Thursday, and I kept saying, oh, this isn't good. Oh, this isn't good. And the ladies on were like, show us what you got. I'm like, nope, not yet. So, but, but then when I got it together, it's like, oh my gosh, it's, it's really pretty, really pretty. And then on the inside, I've got some stamping, and this is all from the... Um, Oh gosh, which one is it? See, even I can't remember yet. The Christmas season. So these are all from the Christmas season. This is from Christmas to Remember, Christmas to Remember, and then the Christmas Pinecone dies. Okay, so let's get started. I started by um, matting a piece of Bermuda Bay cardstock, which is here somewhere, hiding, on a mat of polished pink. And I didn't do anything to the cardstock. I didn't emboss it. I didn't stamp it. I didn't do anything. I just adhered it to the mat. The uh, die cut on top of it is plenty. Plenty, I tells ya. Okay, so there is my... Oh, first thing I wanted to do was put it on there crookedy, didn't I? There we go. Whew, that was close. Okay. Now, before you joined... I used the Christmas pine cone and I cut the solid or the more solid die cut from Mint Macaron. And then I cut the detailed die cut from the new Bedazzling paper. All right. And it lays just like this over the top and you get this beautiful layered pine bow image. Okay. 
So I'm going to just use a little bit of liquid glue, and I'm going to be pretty sparing with it. You know, liquid glue goes a long way. Hi, Barbara. I'm glad you like them. I do too. Way more than I way more than I thought, really. All right, so I'm just doing some little dabs because you know what they say about liquid glue. Little dabble do ya. A little dabble do ya. A little dabble do ya. And you guys, if you saw, if you happen to notice that I posted my special bundles this morning, uh, bundle number three, um, the pine boughs and cones. Oh my, is uh, anchored with this this little sweet, so you can get yourself all hooked up and ready to go, save yourself about 15% over retail, and you could pick the bedazzling paper as one of your celebration gifts, because yes, when you order my special bundles, you'll get your celebration gifts. And if you order multiple bundles, I'm going to send you a PDF with stamp case labels that are already prepared for the new catalog, so you'll be all ready to... Um, be all organized and everything like that. Let me get this on the right way up. It'll be important for it to be on the right way up. And you can tell that because there are pine cones as part of the die cut. And they are right there. So you just line those up. And then just kind of lay it down one little section at a time. And pull it into place. The uh, It's a very lacy die cut. Okay, By which I mean... It goes kind of every which every which direction, and you can manipulate it and make it do what you need it to do and go where it needs to go. Okay? Isn't that pretty? I mean, just like that, two die cuts, and look how gorgeous that is. Serious. My goodness. Okay, now I'm going to take some dimensionals, and I'm going to get real jiggy with the dimensionals here because I want this to be supported as much as I can I want to pop it up. This is kind of a case from the the uh, bedazzling sample, one of the bedazzling samples in the actual celebration flyer. So if you've got it, you'll see it and you'll you'll recognize it. Okay, now I'm going to take some more dimensionals and I'm going to put them. You can see that I have spaces where the the boughs kind of come together, where the dimensional will be hidden. Okay, so I can put the dimensional there and not see it from the front. So I'm gonna do that in a few places around to support these bows. And this one is gonna to need to be cut, it's too, well, I'm just gonna put it right here. Let me see what I got here. All right, I've got another one. And we'll just put some where I can see that I have Larger, not large, there's no large spaces, but larger. And then I'm going to cut this because it's time to cut it anyway. Alrighty. Well, we've been playing dodgeball with rain off and on really all day, which was, you know, annoying, a little bit annoying. But I managed to get to the grocery store without getting wet, so that was a good thing. It was kind of weird. I didn't know what was going. We were a little. I was a little worried because I walked into the as I walked into the grocery store. A lot of people had their masks on, and I was like, I wonder why they're doing that. So I was searching in my purse to be sure I had a mask. But then I got in, and not everybody was wearing them. So I thought, well, okay, okay. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, the power of a demo, eh? Once you see it, it do, maybe doesn't look so great in the catalog, although this one had me at pine cones. It was, it was a foregone conclusion that this was going to be on my very, very, very first order. Okay, I think that's good. And now I'm just going to do the painstaking work of getting all of these off, all the covers off, and then we'll adhere it. And that's, I mean, that's really kind of going to be the card front. It's... I I very I'm letting this thing do all the work and it is well suited for the job. It's really quite stunning. I'm looking forward to doing it in other color combinations too. I like this, but I'm going I'm looking forward to seeing it in a little more natural woody look. A little more woody look. You know what? I think I'm going to put another dimensional right there. 
or piece of dimensional, as the case may be. Where did I say? Does anybody know? Right here. Oh, come here now. There we go. Right there. There we go. Uh, hey, Nancy, appreciate it. Uh-oh. You froze and haven't moved. I don't think you can sit still this long. <laughs> hey, Bernie, that's probably true. All right. Yeah, I don't think I'm frozen. I'm still seeing me move on my computer screen over here. So maybe do like Alicia said and give it a refresh on your screen. All right, so now really all I want to do is kind of just center this up. It's going to hang over the edge by design. But I want it to be kind of as straight as I can make it. Okay, there we go. Done. There's the card front. How pretty is that? Now, I'm going to take a little bit of... Sure. Some um, Seal Plus, Stampin' Seal Plus, and I'm going to run it right across here. And I, I'll tell you straight, it you got to work at it a little bit to get the seal to adhere to the, uh, to that sparkly paper. But we're going to get it because we're going to be, we're going to be persistent by golly. Thanks, Karen. The white pine cone is your state flower. Oh, cool. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some um, polished pink of 3 8 inch open weave ribbon, and I'm gonna make a loose Z, a loose Z, as opposed to a, you know, tight Z. This would be a loose Z, not a tight Z. And we'll just double it back like this. And double it one more time and give it a cut on a jaunty angle. And then we're going to make sure that I've got enough seal under it to make it stick. And I do. And since I'm going to use dimensionals on my sentiment, there will be plenty of stickum there. Come here now. Let me get these cut. Now, my, my sentiment is um, from the Christmas to Remember set. Mm -hmm. And it's here somewhere, I promise. There it is. So I stamped this in polished pink on basic white, and I cut it with the die from the seasonal labels, which is this one. And it's going to go over the top, but it was just a little too plain for me. And you know me, I'm not a big plain person. I'm a plain P-L-A-N-E, but not a P-L-A-I-N. So I took my Knight of Navy stamp and write marker and made some bow stitches around it. Like this. And it's a little bit time consuming, but not very hard. Now, you obviously could make this card in more traditional colors pretty easily. But I think it's kind of fun sometimes to get outside the box a little bit. I think I've said this before. My grandparents always had a white flocked Christmas tree with pink and silver decorations. So whenever I do one like this, it makes me think of those. Those Christmases with my grandparents, who lived right next door to us. So it was kind of cool. Double Christmas morning. It was awesome. All right. Now I will put some dimensionals on the back of my Sentimente. And stick it on. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some embellishing. And then we'll get to the inside where we're going to do a little bit of stamping. Gee, uh, it's been a while. There's a visit. Uh-oh. Painting rocks to say thank you to co-workers. Okay, yeah, we're going to need the more story. What is that? I'm painting rocks. Who kept me company outside the elevator? I was trapped in. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mary, that's crazy. You were trapped in an elevator. Oh, no. How, how long were you there? Oof. I'm painting rocks. I think that's pretty cool. They're going to love them. 
Hey Jolene, appreciate you joining. All right, we're just pull. I'm just pulling off dimensional covers now, while we wait to hear how long Mary was trapped in an elevator. And did you get out? And was there a strapping fireman who rescued you? I'm just saying. Not that I want to be, you know, sexist, because if it had been a female firefighter, that would have obviously been fine too. But you know, bonus points if it was a strapping young gentleman. All right, and there we go. And I'm just going to center that up over my loose Z, like so. And then I will take a Knight of Navy gem from the Holiday Rhinestones and put it on my sentiment, like that. And then I'm going to take what apparently are the final, the very last <laughs> of the polished pink gems yes but the maintenance guy pried the door open free within 15 minutes oh good well that's good at least and yes not having to use the restroom whilst trapped although my thought is as soon as you realized you were trapped it, if it was me i would would have needed to go to the bathroom just the instant i knew i was trapped all right so now i'm just taking some of these polished pink gems from the 2021 2023 in color jewels and I am sticking them out in the pine boughs kind of here and there hither and yon a little bit willy a little bit nilly okay and I think we're gonna put one right there right there just seemed like the right spot and there you have your card front okay so on the inside now we're gonna do a little stamping because it's fun and I like it a lot first we're going to stamp our sentiment Is it freezing really bad? I'm not even seeing any freezing over here. So hopefully, hopefully it's coming back for you. All right, so this sentiment, may this be a Christmas to remember and cherish, is also from Season to Remember. And remember my tip, or if you're new, this will be the first time you hear it. The first time you use one of the clear stamps, which is not clear at all, check it on a piece of scrap paper because its straightness is directly related to how good a job they did engraving it on the rubber and how good a job you did putting the sticker on. So always give it a go and make sure that it's gonna stamp how you want it to. And it'll also give you a chance to see if like you've inadvertently got a stampin' dimensional cover on there. I'm not saying I've ever done that, but I've totally done that. Okay, good, I'm glad, Amy, thank you. And we're just gonna put this right in the center of our card base. Nope, this is our inner liner. There, okay, got a good one. So I'll put this aside for a second. And now we're gonna stamp some foliage. Um, and the foliage is all, of course, from Christmas season. First, I'm going to use the um, pine boughs. There's two, there's one with a single bough and one with two, and I'm gonna stamp those in mint macaron on my inner liner and in a fit of efficiency unparalleled anywhere in the universe. I'm going to do my envelope at the same time. Cause, cause yeah, that's how I roll is efficient. When you think Mary Deathridge, I know you think, man, that's the most efficient stamper I have ever known. Said nobody ever. All right, so we're gonna do that like so. And then I actually made my own little bit of DSP for the envelope flap by doing the same thing. And I'm just going to kind of stamp this randomly all over the all over the envelope flap. Kind of twisting it and turning it. Like that. And then we'll put our single. Thank you so much, Maureen. I appreciate that. Okay, so we'll put that aside for now. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Jolene. I appreciate it. And then, uh, okay, so I have a confession, and I'm I'm not proud of it. Okay, I'm I mean I'm I'm really not proud of it because I felt goofy when I figured out what I was doing. So I'll show you on on the scrap paper. So this is the little stem. Uh, image in Christmas season and it goes with the berries which I know because I mean look it's pretty obvious it goes with the berries you stamp it and then you ink your berries okay the problem was 
I wanted these berries to go on that stem in this way. And guess what? They won't. Mm -mm. They go on this stem, what looks to me to be backwards, but it's actually rightwards. Okay? So don't be like me. Take this little outlier and put it with the cluster. Okay? Just trust me on that. It, that's how that's supposed to look. But I am not lying to you when I tell you it took me five or six minutes and six or seven tries to figure that out. I don't even know why. Did I cut the bedazzled paper upside down? Okay, so here's how I did the bedazzled paper. I did it right side. So um, my normal sandwich with the paper and then the die like this, and I ran it back and through, forth. I did back and forth four times. Remember, I've got the detailed dyed. So I went one, two, three, four. Then I went 180 degrees with the platform and did that again. Then I flipped the acrylic plates. So I never picked anything up. I just flipped them over so that now the die was on the bottom pointing up. And I did that another couple of times. And when I did that, almost everything came right out. I still had to push some hanging chads but the bulk of it came. So you, ha you have to remember one, it's a very detailed die to begin with. And any of the glitter papers that you would want to use are especially thick, okay? So it's asking a lot of the die and of the machine. So you have to give it a little help by, by coming up with a little different something, something. Yeah, tried cutting from the back. It, you just have to do it all the way around. Um, Thank you, Amy. I'm really glad I was not the only one <laughs> whose brain just would not get around the berries. I just, I just couldn't. I don't know why my head could not see what those berries were supposed to be doing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my, um, you know, y'all have, this is like a blue spruce pine cone, except they're not blue either, I know. But I'm using um, uh, Bermuda Bay to cut, stamp my pine cones. And I'm just going to stamp like that. And then I'll stamp my envelope. I do kind of actually like a Bermuda Bay pine cone. It's, it's making me very, this card's making me very happy. I don't, I don't really know why. Because th this is, again, one of those cards that's really just not in my wheelhouse very much. But color-wise. But boy, I'm, I'm actually liking it quite a bit. Okay, I think three will be fine on there. No, I don't think it would. It would put the, the um, there you go, Karen. It would put the, the cupping of the die cut on the wrong side, I think, Faith. I think I would um, stick with cutting from the correct side and then just running it multiple times and then just take the whole sandwich and flip it upside down so that then the die is pointing up. And I, I found that that helped. And I actually did that with both of the, with both of them, with the bedazzling and with the solid die in the, um, with the mint macaron, just so that I didn't have to mess with it. It was just easier to do it ahead of time. All right, so now I'm gonna take the um, confounding berry stem in Night of Navy. And the berries the correspondingly confounding berries. See, once you figure it out, then it all kind of makes sense, but gosh, I just, my brain just wouldn't see it, not for anything. And I felt goofy. I'm not lying. And we'll put one up here too. Right. I finally went to the grocery store today after I don't even know how long. I went through a real, boy, I don't wanna go anywhere phase. And so then I finally went to the grocery store which was good. A person needs to go to the grocery store occasionally. I mean, you know, food is good. I like food in the house. I'm getting ready to make a big old pot of fresh tomato marinara in my Instant Pot, which freezes wonderfully and is awesome to have in the freezer. 
over the winter. All right, so there's that. And then, <laughs> there you go, Faith. <laughs> yes, yes, Karen, you're welcome. Guys, I figured it out for you. All right, so now I'm gonna use this little dot doohickey. I'm gonna wipe my, I have a very messy block right now. I don't think that's a good idea, Mary. I'm gonna use this block and my um, polished pink, and I'm just gonna put a few little, little dabbles here and there on my DSP, my perfectly designed designer paper. <laughs> Stampin' Up's gonna see this and they're gonna be like, oh, Mary, please come work for us as a designer. And be like, oh no, I can't. I can't. Okay. Put one there. And maybe one here. And then just because I see a gap and that makes me nervous, I'm going to put one right there. Okay. And then we'll do our inner inner liner. Hey, Jan. Appreciate you joining. Your um, stamp pad went out today, so you should get it pretty quick. And then I think I'll put one down, a little bit down here like that. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go against everything I believe. And stop. And stop. Okay, now one more, one more Knight of Navy gem. Oops, get back over there. And then we can just put everything together and we'll be done. And you can go about your weekend. Okay, now I have another polished pink mat. Have I said to you guys, I'm sure I have because I, I love polished pink and I don't even know why. I was supposed to really use Magenta Madness for this color combo, for this color challenge, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't. This is my favorite pink, and I'm now officially calling it Magenta. For tonight and tomorrow, it is Magenta. Boom, you are Magenta. Alrighty, and then, you're welcome, Jan. I'm gonna put it in a Knight of Navy card base. How much do you love this set? My goodness. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Mm, just saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, I gotta cut some more Dimension Alleys. And then I gotta hope I've got some cut over there off to the side. All right, let me see what I got. Oh yes, I have another strip. Thank y'all. Thanks, Linda. So do you want to know how very lazy I am? I now wait. You see this? This is the edge strip of the dimensionals, right? Where it's got that solid piece. <laughs> I wait until that's the very last one I've got until I use it. Because I've gotten to, I'm so lazy. I don't even want to have to cut each one of those every time. Goodness gracious. That's just pitiful. That's pitiful. But at least I do use them and don't just like pile them up for a rainy day like when you totally run out of dimensionals at the last second and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have dimensionals. I do use them before I open another pack. That, I get, I have to get some credit for that. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh my gosh! Yeah! There we go, you guys! And no DSP required, just some of the gorgeous bedazzling paper. And you can make your own DSP with all of the beautiful images in the Christmas season set. Don't forget, um, yes, my magenta is your favorite pink. I agree. Don't forget bundle number three. Bows, cones, and something or who's it? Oh, my great way to get this and a bunch of other things and save a little money and I think you get like four or five celebration items with just that one bundle okay all right you guys I appreciate it I hope you have a warmer 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 rest of your weekend and um, hopefully we'll see you next week on Thursday for my YouTube video take good care thanks for spending part of your day with me bye-bye